Hey guys, Avalo here, and I'm bringing you my first, <clears throat> well not first, but a video guide here for StarCraft 2. This one is going to be about unit selection. I told you guys I'd be making these, so uh, I'm going to make one video a day. There's going to be many, many guides. This one is actually something, <laughs> and, I, and, and also guys, I hope these guides just help people out to learn the game faster. That's, that's going to be the goal of these. Um, so make sure you leave comments and, um, you know, you can s recommend what you want for the next guide, uh, for me to make on YouTube if you, if there's something that you are having trouble with in the game. Uh, so this is for all new StarCraft players, all old ones, um, and this is something that, that especially you don't, you won't, you won't know this when you're learning to get this stuff, you won't know when you're learning the game, so it's basically free coaching too. So let's get into this. First off. So this is going to be Unit Selection and Deselection 2020. Um, and why is this important, guys? Why is it important to know how to select and deselect your units? Because that's pretty much how you play the game. <laughs> uh, you play StarCraft by selecting stuff, and you need to know how to deselect stuff, and it's just very, very important. It's something that masters, GMs, and pros do. And if you're watching a stream, like if you're watching my stream or any other streamer, you're not going to notice this stuff. Because it, it's happening so quick, you're not going to real you know, you don't, you can't see my keyboard and my mouse, and you can't see, like, every action in a game unless you have the replay, so, uh, yeah. I'm going to go into the unit tester here. This is also, you know, this guide, LOTV unit tester online, very useful for practicing uh, micro unit compositions. You can use the unit tester for all sorts of stuff instead of having to to uh, play out a whole game, you know, with a buddy or pal, uh, this is pretty useful. So I'm going to set the terrain here to fields, so it's a little bit bigger. And uh, with this, I guess, make a little mini unit tester guide here. I forget who made this map, but it is mega useful. For example, if you hold shift and then left click, it'll put five of that unit on the map. So really, really useful. So first thing, obviously, how do you select units, guys? How do you, how do, you do that? Um, how, how, how do you do it? Well, obviously, left click, the most basic thing. One left, one left click selects the unit. Not that difficult, but these are. Th I'm just going to go over the very basics, so that way you know, you understand. All you guys will understand this if, if you're bronze through diamond, especially. It's going to help you a lot. So obviously, there's left click selecting a unit one by one, and whenever you select a unit, remember it'll show in the unit portraits down in the bottom. So, how do you select more than one unit? Obviously, you make a box, right? And, um, so if I want to select all these, I hold down left click, drag my cursor, make a box. And that will, you know, in, in a game, or if you're watching a stream, you'll notice people, this, you know, this action is a repetitive action in StarCraft. You're going to be doing this a lot. Sometimes you'll go from top, you know, there'll be times where you might go top left to bottom right. Like, this stuff actually matters because it's, you know, like, quickly Quickly selecting and grabbing a unit via this, you'll you'll notice a, what a lot of pros, grandmasters, and um, even masters players do is they will make a tiny. They're actually making a tiny little box because it, it makes it so you don't have to be as accurate. Like if I if, if I just want to grab this one unit to select it, if I just left click, I might miss. Like I just I might miss the unit, and this is some again. This is something that a lot of players don't know or realize when they're learning the game. It's it becomes intuitive as you're playing the game, but if I just left click once, I might miss the unit. But if I quickly drag a box, e even if it's a tiny box like this, that means I'm going to select it more accurately. So making making these selection boxes is very useful, even if it's just even it's just a tiny box like a quick little quick little drag and select. That'll allow you to uh, select units really, really quickly. And then, you know, instead of... you Like, you almost never will do... The thing is, guys, you'll almost never do a single click to select. It's always box selection. You're always dragging a box, even if it's a single unit. So there's that. So you can quickly drag a box. This is something you actually gotta practice, get used to. Your mouse sensitivity can affect this, so that's another thing. Maybe I'll make another guide on, you know, setting up a good mouse sensitivity and... And whatnot, but uh, yeah. And, you know, and remember, so the thing is, when your units are selected, they go to the bottom here. And uh, what 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 is the what are these portraits down here? What is that useful for? Well, let's check this out. I'm going to attack one of the stalkers here. 
So you see, if I want to like one way to micro units, if you have a unit down here that's in the red, for example, what I can do is I can left click that unit. It'll select that unit without me having to find it on the screen. If you it, health bars are useful, I personally don't use health bars, but um, without having to manually select that like on your screen, you can just click the portrait. And then move it away, and then reselect. So there's a lot of tricks like that. There's a like all of these things that you know I'm teaching you guys right now are very. They become intuitive as you do them, but if you don't have somebody explaining this stuff, you might not know like all these little tiny little things. Like in a game, you'll use all these. You know, as you get better, you use all these different techniques in different scenarios, just without even thinking about it. At, but I want to. Uh, you know, this is the first guide I'm making, so it's unit selection, deselection. So, how do I, how, what, what are, what are ways I can select all these units? I can drag select a box to select them all. I can also, I can also double click. For example, if I double click on a unit, that will select all of that unit type on the screen. So, for example, if I add in five zealots here, if I want to select only the stalkers, I can double click them. Or, I can hold control, hold the control key down, and then left click. And that'll select all of one unit type. So control selects all of one unit type. Now shift will deselect a unit type. So if I hold down the shift key and left click one stalker, that deselects it from the current group. Shift, if I hold, so if, if you want to get rid of units, you hold the shift. Shift is subtract, control is addition. So addition and subtraction is basically what's going on here. So again, so so what is this you what is this useful for? Well, it makes it easier to select units. You don't have to be as accurate with your mouse. Just like you don't single click. Like I'm not gonna single click in a game on a unit too often. You know, very rarely you're gonna make a quick box, right? So what if I want to select all these zealots quickly and all my units are you know they're they're jumbled together in a ball, but I want only the zealots. So what am I gonna do there? Am I gonna hold control and left click the zealots on the screen? No, the quickest way to do it is if you have everything selected, you, you hold the control key and left click the zealot portrait. And then you'll have all those selected. So these unit portraits down here are very, very useful. You can hold, you can also hold the shift key, select one unit, or uh, left click a unit, that deselects it from the group. So shift is subtract. And then if I want to add stuff back, shift also adds as well. If you, so shift is add and subtract and then control is mass select. So. The shift key is basically addition and subtraction, depending on, you know, if I click it and it's not selected, it'll get rid of it. If I want that back in, hold, if I'm holding the shift key, then it'll do that. Also, the nice thing is, if you hold down the shift key, I'm holding shift right now. If I want to add all these into the current group I have, hold down the shift and make a box, and now they're all selected. And there's many different uses for this, you know. For example, what if I want to send a zealot to every base on the map? Then I can right click. I can have all of my units selected, and rather than just selecting one, selecting one, selecting one, which requires a lot of that requires a lot of mouse accuracy to do that. Instead, what you do is you right click the whole group there, hold shift, deselect a zealot, move your units back, send all my units here, hold the shift key, left click a zealot in the unit portraits, send my units back. And then do that again, hold shift, left click a unit portrait. So what you can do is you can, if you get, once you practice this and get quick at it, you notice I sent everything, you know, I just sent units everywhere. So now what, so what is the shift uh, selection useful for? You can add all the, it's useful for when units are on different screens. So obviously if all these are on one screen, I can select them all, right? But what if, look at all these units over here now, they're on, they're on different screens, so I can't make one box and, and put them all in the same control group, or the same group, right? So what I want to do is select everything, and then hold the shift key, move my screen, drag a box, select, hold shift, I'm holding shift this whole time, selecting all these, and now they're all in the same, they're all in the same group. So that's what the shift key is useful for, when your units, when you have units on multiple screens, but you want to put them in the same group of units, Holding the shift key will allow you to add them to the same group, even though your screen, even though they're all on different screens. Whereas, like, you know, normally, 
if they're if they're all on one screen, then it's easy. You just make a box. But when they're on different screens, you hold shift and then make boxes, and then you can get them all in one group and then hotkey them. You know, control one, control two. I should probably mention that as well. This is mostly selection, deselection. Obviously, um, I guess I should mention hotkeys as well. Uh, you know, one through zero. If I hold control, select all these. Control one. Now they're hockey to one. I can double tap one. Oh, that's another. That's another selection thing. Double. So, um, to move your screen to the current selection, you just double tap a hotkey. So hockey to one or two or whatever you want to hockey your army to. You double tap and then it'll move your screen back there. So that's pretty useful. So again, just to go over this really quickly. How do I how do I select if I want one type of unit I hold control and then left click it will give me all of that unit if I want to add all these to the group the shift key will add them in holding shift and if I want to deselect units you can do that down here in the unit portraits or you can do it manually here but that's too you know again that's too difficult like just de you can deselect by holding shift and left clicking through the unit portraits so and another Another, um, uh, so the final one here, let me add in one more type of unit, let's add in sentries or something. So, if I want to remove every stalker from this control group, I will hold the control key, because that will, hold, control selects all of one unit type, I'll hold the shift key, because that will allow me to de to subtract units, and then I left click the stalker portrait, boom, they're all gone. So that's how you, let's say I only want to get the, if I only if I have all these selected and I only want to select the sentries, I hold control because control selects all of one unit type. Left click the sentries and that gives me the sentries. But if I want to get rid of the sentries, I hold control and shift and then left click the sentries and that will remove the sentries. So this again, there's a lot of different <laughs> different uses for this. You know, again, holding shift, you can practice. Um, you can practice sending you know zealots off to scout. Hold shift, deselect. Or, uh, hold shift, left click, send your units back. I want a zealot here, hold shift, left click another zealot. I want a stalker over here, hold shift, left click a stalker. Well, really, I, I'm sending units here, and then holding shift, left click and a stalker, sending the whole control group back. And then if I want these back in my control group, again, hold shift, add them to the control group, make boxes by adding them, so. So what have we learned here, guys? Shift, select, shift, subtracts, and adds. The shift key, if you hold down shift, it'll allow you to add units to the control group. It'll allow you to subtract units. Shift is add, addition and subtraction of units. And you can make boxes while you do that. Control selects all of one unit type, or you can double click. D double click and control will do the same. They'll select one unit type on your screen. Justice and if you do control and shift together, I am the voice um, of the eclipse. For if you have all of your stuff selected and you do hold control, press shift, and then select one unit type in the in the portraits down below, then it'll deselect all of that unit type. So it can be useful. Um, like, for example, another thing, like if I want all the zealots in the front, I control select the zealots, move them to the front. And then same thing, I can move the sentries back. And there it is, you know. This is the, this is the stuff that you have to learn and practice and again there's so many different ways that you can select and deselect units and for those of you wondering it doesn't matter if you make a box from top right to bottom left doesn't it's it's honestly it's preference um if you're a left-handed player you probably do it the opposite way you probably go from top left to bottom right some players that are right-handed do it i guess it depends how you how you learn the game and get used to it it's more natural it's more natural for a right-handed person I think to go to move your mouse from right to left, but I get you know there's probably other people that do it the other way. It just depends, and I get some people might even do it from the bottom, although that's just weird. It's it's easier to it's easier to drag your mouse down, I feel like, than it is to push your mouse forward. So uh, yeah, there you go. So there's my first little mini guide. I hope you guys found this useful. Um, Orange, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else here with selection and deselection. Um, that I can, I think that's pretty much it. It's just, you know, pra practicing, practicing using the shift key. You'll get used to using shift to, it just takes practice, you know, takes a little bit of keyboard mechanics. 
I recommend using the unit the unit portraits make it very very easy and again like for example now they're on a different screen so I'll hold a shift to I'm holding shift and making boxes to grab everything and uh, oh the other thing f2 key so this is what I'm doing here is always this is much more preferable than f2 because you don't always want to f sometimes you want to leave units and play you know you want to leave your scouter your your spotter marines or your or the zealots you send to different points on the map you want to leave these units on the map so you don't want to f2 like but if i want this one specifically back then again shift make a box left you know left click and then bring it back so it's, it's this is for fine-tuned unit control that will help you you know Especially if you're like diamond trying to make the jump to masters this stuff will you know knowing this will help you get better at the game So yeah, leave comments You know in the uh, comment section. Let me know what you think and uh, let, let me know what you want the next guy to be about I don't know what I'm I don't know what it'll be about next, but this is the first one So yeah, thanks for watching and I will be streaming most likely in 10 minutes. So I Will see you guys later. Peace out this has been my uh, unit selection and deselection guide. See you later, peoples.